Well, you know, um, I had said that I didn't want to have any paint left over. I didn't want to do any more pours, but of course, I've got more paint left over. So, uh, we're going to do a quickie pour, and uh, <laughs> it sounds kind of rude, doesn't it? We're going to do a quickie pour, and uh, I'm going to put you back on the shelf, and let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. You're back on the shelf. Somebody has got to teach me how to make videos. All right. Are we there yet? Yeah, we're there. Okay. All right. Here I am. Just call me Klutz. See my hand? Yep. All right. I've already sprayed the WD-40 in here. And now we have this little 8x10. You know, not much going on there. A little 8x10. So let's see if we can put um, the rest of the paint that I have left over in uh, on this and see what we get okay so I'll pour the blue in we'll make a we'll make a little blue then we'll put in a little white yeah then I uh, got some looks like copper put some copper in there that'd be neat all right make a couple of rings of copper in there pour some green in Again, what I want is to not have any paint that has been wasted because uh, paint is expensive and so is Floetrol. I mean, I guess not really, but you know, I come from that generation of people who do not like to waste things. So here we are not wasting things. Now I put that copper in there. Let's put a little more in there because we like that. Mm -hmm. All right. And the blue, the blue. Oh, you know what we haven't put in? We haven't put in any orange. I have a bunch of orange. I have got to quit making so much orange because uh, I don't know why I do it. I, it's not a color that I use very often, you know. I'll set this down here. Scrape the rest of that white out. Uh-huh. So if everybody wants to start sending me their yogurt cups, <laughs> I use them quite a bit. Um, they're just the right size. And, uh, you know, I, ha I hate to throw them away. So, okay, so there's that. And what shall we put? Oh, I guess a little more blue. Yeah. Why do I have the feeling that this mix is fraught with peril? Maybe because it is fraught with peril. But we'll just see what happens. Okay. All right. So um, I would say that we, yeah, got a little blue left there. Let's just put the blue in there. Let's just do it. Let's just do it and get it over with. Okay. Blue's on. Gone. Green is gone because I said we were just going to get rid of these paints right <sighs> now this is going to be painful no 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 let's put in some more of that bronze this is probably way too much paint but you know what so be it put that in there now all of this paint had uh, that silicone hair uh, dressing in it here, we'll just use this right here. Uh, so I've already already got what I need in it to get the cells to really pop. So that's what it looks like. Now we're just going to turn it over. And we stand here for a moment. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to learn how to pour uh, two-part resin because what I want is I want uh, my pieces to look really nice and shiny and have depth to them uh, when they're dry. So uh, that's the next thing that I'm going to learn how to do is how to pour resin. Okay, so can you see okay everybody? All right, let's see what we got. Let's make a, a swirl. No. 
hey, that's kind of cool. Let's move that paint around. Mm -hmm. Looks like I got plenty of uh, um, that bronze in there, doesn't it? Okay. So we just start stretching it across. Maybe we should put some flames on those. Uh, put some flame on that. Heat up those cells. Mm -hmm. That could be another good reason for me, uh, just this one being my last pour this evening, because I think my lighter is about done for. I think he is about done for. All right. Um, I know I mentioned this before, but then I forgot to do it. You need to put a couple of little cups together and put them underneath, and that keeps the paint from pooling in the center. So let's put that in there. Yep, got it. Okay, now let's rock it. Yep, there's plenty of paint on this, that's for sure. Plenty of paint. Mm -hmm. I'm always afraid that I'm going to end up with some god-awful color. And, and to date, I haven't really had any problems except for with the color um, mm, uh, kind of turquoise, that, that minty green turquoise. Sometimes I, I have some problems with it. Now, I know I've turned away from the, the camera, but just a second. I need to take care of this edge, and then I'll come back to you. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna get that moved over. Yep. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and come on down to the bottom. Um, this is an interesting, uh, there's a lot of uh, bronze vein in it, and the dark blue helps, and the green certainly doesn't hurt. Okay, and again, this is leftover paint. This is not uh, this is not something that I uh, picked the colors out especially for. Okay, let's get to that corner. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, bring it on down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Now, we use my finger. Let's cover that edge. Now, let's turn it. Yep, all right. Now, we'll get this edge covered. Mm -hmm. Not too bad for uh, leftover paint, huh? Not too bad at all. You just take your finger, move that paint right along. There you go. There you go. I would say, oh, don't drip on that first one. No, no, no. We're down to this edge right here. Yeah. Again, uh, not the neatest craft in the world, but it sure is fun getting your fingers dirty. All right. We got it. Now, I need to clean off my fingers and give it a little heat. Got one really nice cell right there. Boy, oh boy. Yeah. Hmm. It's pretty. It's pretty. And and it's nice to know that I didn't just leave the paint in the cup and uh, toss it in the trash. Uh, at least it, it, it was used for purpose, you know? I think we all have a purpose in life, and uh, leaving paint behind in the cup is just uh, a dream never realized, isn't it? So, as I run out of flame, <laughs> thanks for watching. 
I've done three pours this evening. This is the third pour uh, using uh, just the leftover orange, blue, green, and a little bit of white. Thank you for uh, hanging out with me. If you are interested in classes, please contact me through my Cheryl Studios page, and uh, we'll get this done. Wouldn't this be fun for a girls' night out? Yes, it would. So, uh, contact me through my page. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.